Hey guys, Brittles here, and welcome back to Banished. So, I've been recording this a lot lately, simply because I want to play it. I love this game. It's fun, and Non-Blitz is going well, so... Right, that's that road there. So last time we uh, extended our little settlement over here. Got a graveyard, um, fishing place, whatever. A storage barn up, a couple of houses and whatnot. We also got the uh, Forester's Log Lodge in place. And put some more farms in, which is nice. Um, the other big thing we did was Town Hall, which is pretty sweet. The only thing I really want it for is nomads. I, th I don't really know how that works, so I assume they just show up. And then you can give them citizenship or not, I don't know. I guess that's how it works, I really don't actually know. But that's okay, so this time, I'm not sure, really sure what I want to do. Um, although one thing that I think I have noticed, if people would stop moving, stop. Everybody seems to have ragged clothing. Which is unfortunate. So I'm going to place a tailor. They use leather. And we do have a hunting cabin, so when they hunt the deer, they will get leather. We can make clothes out of it. So where the hell is this dude? There. Var she is. Oh, we can actually place it there. Ooh. Wait, is that the right place? Uh, space, space, space. Yeah, we'll go there. Like that. We'll draw the road through there just because. Just so it's a continuation. I doubt we'll be able to go over this hill. It'll probably be red. Yeah, no, we can't go over that. I wonder if we can actually get a tunnel. I highly doubt it. Yeah, no, it's nowhere near high enough. Uh, but I don't think there's actually anywhere that we would really need a tunnel. Maybe through this mountain, but there's not much over there that we'd need, to be honest. Um, I don't think we'll probably need a tunnel. Oh, there's a big lake over here. I didn't know this was here. Ooh, the water's quite pretty in this game, actually. Very nice looking water. Uh, I'm not sure what size map we're on. Let's see where the edges go to. Okay, I think we're on a medium map. I don't really know. Anyway, we're not going to expand that far. I mean, I'm sure you could, but realistically, you'd just kill everybody before you could possibly get that far. Or I would anyway, because I'm rubbish, but... We actually seem to be going going so yeah, Jesus, going up well thus far, which is actually surprising. I didn't think I would have survived this long, but uh, we have now. How are we doing for resources and such? We're basically out of stone. Okay, Doc, let's get some of that stone. Go and get the stone, my peeps. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, ooh, look at that, those hot coals in there. Nice. Very nice. A child named Esther was born. Good for you, Esther. Welcome to the family. I like having this, uh, Forester's Lodge in here. Rather than just a big open, empty area. Puts the forest back. I enjoy that. I enjoy it a lot. Okie doke, they're getting the stone. Wonderful. And this should be able to be built. Yes, it is. And we have a massive overdose of iron. I mean, look at that. We have so much excess iron. We're never going to use all that. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get that much. It's ridiculous. Um, now... Oh, God. All the people are just putting their stuff, all the food and everything, in this barn and not bothering to travel to that barn or this barn, which are both empty. So that's kind of annoying. Let's get a tailor on. Uh, maybe I should move this barn over here. Yeah, no. Maybe I'll move this barn over here somewhere. Would that be more useful? It probably would be. Wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just because... Uh, do we have any more building projects at the moment? No, we do not. Excellent. Alright, so they will demolish that. They're getting rid of all the storage and taking it over to this one, I think. Yes, they are. Beautiful. I've never actually had a fire in my town, so I've never needed to use the well. But it's nice to have there, just in case. I don't know if that only happens at a certain point, or if you do something specifically wrong, but I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out when the entire town burns down. And what the hell? What are you talking about? There's plenty of room. Move it over here, or up here. 
We do have a massive excess of food. We have like you know, 6,000 food. Ah, uh, well. Is that thing done yet? Close enough. We'll uh, place one on the storage barn that is over here. Like that. Close to all the food so we can store lots of it. Which will be nice. Now it's late autumn. So I'm gonna get another house here. Just because. Because I wanna. There we go. Sweet. Alright. Uh, this house here, that one there, reminds me of that uh, dude from The Amazing Spider Man 2. Anybody else see that? I see it. I think they look exactly the same. <laughs> look up the picture and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, right, now, do we have enough logs? Yeah, we have plenty of logs. God, why does nothing use iron? Look at all our food, it's disappearing. We don't have room for it. That's so annoying. I don't appreciate it. And what the hell do you mean you have the maximum fit? Oh, I see. The food limit is 5,000. Ah, uh, that's what they're talking about. It's not that they don't have room. I completely forgot about that. Whoops. Alright, let's put that up to 10,000 so they never run out of food. There we go. I didn't realize there were limits on food. That was not something I was aware of. Now, can we place another gatherer's hut? We don't really need another gatherer's hut, to be honest. We have plenty of them. Um, well, I may place another one out here. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to keep my farms coming out this way. Um, I don't really know. I would like to place a uh, trade port of sorts, just so we can get some more seeds and stuff. And I'm going to leave that iron there, because we do not need any more iron. That's one thing that we don't need. Alright, so let's settle in for the winter and fast forward through. A friend has become a student. How many students do we actually have? Because there is a limit to the amount of students you can take. 13 out of 20. That's fine. We can handle that. Look at all this iron here. What uses iron? I think these bigger things use iron. 30 iron for the chapel. 32 for the hospital, 16 for the schoolhouse, and none for anything else. Uh, what about the uh, mine? Mine doesn't use any. Quarry doesn't use any. Taylor uses 16. Tavern uses 20. Um, what does a tavern need to operate? I know you can do it with apple, but I don't like because we have peaches. I don't know if that'd work, probably not. Alright, so right, we are through the winter. Well, sort of. Close enough. And one thing that I would like to place is a mine. Because then you can get coal. And you don't have to worry so much about firewood. So it replaces it. Oh, actually, while I'm here, um, I would like to turn some of these houses into stone houses. How about these ones? Yeah, let's turn these ones into stone houses. And what that does is it makes them warmer, basically. You don't need as much firewood to uh, keep them warm, which is good. They're less likely to freeze to death, which is pretty sweet. And also it'll use up some of our iron. I don't know how much other stuff it uses. Oh, do we have homeless people? Oh, we just do because we want to find their houses. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I probably don't really need worry about the cold because it's oh it's ten degrees outside, that's a bit cooler than I thought it was. Uh, how's our tailor going? It's going very good actually. Set it up to how much leather do we actually have? Um leather, twenty four, Jesus. Alright, do we have any leather over here? No, we have seven hide coats. And venison. These guys actually have a pretty good diet. They have like uh, cabbages, peppers, peaches, fish, venison, a whole bunch of berries and everything. That's a pretty good diet. You'd live a long time if you had that diet. I wouldn't mind that diet, that'd be tasty. I like venison. Actually, I don't think I've ever had venison. Have I? I don't remember. Not recently, anyway. Now, are you guys gonna build? I hope you're going to build. Yeah, they're going to build. So they needed 40 stone. 24. Wow, that was actually an expensive sort of project, resource-wise. 
Um, right, reserve of firewood is low. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Let's uh, gut this place again. Get rid of all them. Because we need the trees. We have 14 laborers, so they should do that fairly efficiently. I've noticed that everybody seems to be congregating around here for some reason. Like, yeah, let's all just hang by the well, it's all good. Whatever. That's okay, though. As long as they do their job when I ask them to, that's cool. And, oh yeah, those houses are done. Look at them. Those are so cool. That's <laughs> probably not a good representation of uh, how well these things work, as they're both cold. But I don't think they have any firewood do them, do they? No, they have no firewood. Oh well. That'll be fine. I know it's living in that house. I do like how they're different designs. Mixes it up a bit. I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, now it's late spring. Should we place another farm? We might as well. We have a whole bunch of laborers. We can spare two more for another farm. There we go. 14 by 15. Beautiful. Hopefully they'll clear that in time. Uh, if not, oops, placed it wrong. My bad. Probably not going to get this in time, actually. Uh, 15 by 15. There we go. Beautiful. We'll have peppers this time. We get an even mixture of all of them. Uh, are they sufficiently clearing this? Yes, they are. Very good. Very good indeed. Now, what do I want to do next? Did I end up placing a herbalist? I don't remember. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Oh, I did not. Might as well do that. Oh, I guess her health is actually pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think there's really much need. We'll hold off on that for now. Um, let's go over here. a house or two. Because we need to keep placing houses every summer. Otherwise everybody will just die. We'll have nobody replace them. Which wouldn't be great, to be honest. Um, was, I, was I gonna place another thing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I don't know where I am right now. Um, let's place this. We need another forest lodge over here because this is very bare. We can fix that with a click of a button. Right, let's draw a road back. Like so. And I can start planting some trees. We'll have an even better source of wood. I did wish that there was some way that you could just maintain your population rather than having to keep growing. There actually may be, I might not have just discovered it, but every time I try to maintain my population rather than continuously growing, everybody just dies. And it's not that great. So, yeah. Maybe that's just me though, who knows. I'm not the greatest at this game. I'll be the first one to admit that. Uh, we have 29 stone. I would like to have a stone road going along here, actually. That'd be quite nice. Stone we need for that project. One per unit of length. More than 29 is the answer to that question. Uh, so let's go and grab this wood, not wood. God, I'm an idiot. Stone! That's what it's called. These guys are actually efficient over here, collecting all this. Not as efficient as I'd like them to be, considering there's 16 of them. So. You know, whatever. I'll be a little bit lenient with them. No stone over here in this stockpile, which is unfortunate. I don't appreciate that. Uh, can we do anything here? No, we can't. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, look at the deer going through the water. Oh, the baby deer is drowning. Get your head up. There you go. Good stuff. Well done, baby deer. Well done. How far over can we go? I suppose we could go like that. 5 by 15. 
much of a farm though. I don't think we really need it, to be honest. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Look at all the iron. Oh god, we don't need more iron. I don't want any more. We have so much already. We don't need it. Just get it away. Christ. Now, are you guys actually collecting all this? We could probably... Oh no, they there is three on that one. I thought there was only two. Two, 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 two. We we'll probably need three on this one. But nobody's collecting this because they're busy cutting down this forest. We are good for wood now, so I'll spare that forest. So you don't have to cut those down anymore, people. Leave them as they are. Get the wood, please. There we go, good stuff. Alright, now how much fish do we have? Um, 21 fish, that's not much. Not as much as I would like. How many fishermen do we actually have? Do we still have the one? We do. Let's have two. There we go. We have plenty to spare. We have 15 laborers. Plenty of people to work. Now where are our builders? They're probably on this one, right? No. What are they building? What are the builders building? I don't understand. Oh well. Right, no, I don't want to work on that one right now. Because we don't need to, because it's coming into winter. Um What are the builders working on? Okay, now they're working on that. But they weren't before. What the hell? I don't understand this. I don't understand how anything works. Oh, oh god, they're getting that up quickly. Go, you good thing. Look how quick they're working. That is efficiency right there. Go, whatever your name is. Karonda. Good for you. Uh, let's get... Two more foresters. And then they will plant. We don't want to cut them down. We can cut them down with our laborers. Oh, actually, we might as well leave it up. I don't think they actually cut them down for some reason. Every time I get a forester's lodge, the trees just stay there and get massive, and they just never cut them down. It's kind of annoying, actually, but whatever. And we have an excess of tools and an excess of clothes. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Everybody should have good clothing now. Stop. I want to. I'm gonna see if you have good clothing. Yes, fair clothing. Excellent. And how many graves do we have over here? None. Great. Glad to see that was a worthwhile endeavor, building that. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, a child named Manica was born. Good to see. Welcome to Noblets, Manica. Welcome to Noblets. Alright. So that road is good. Uh, I probably want to fast forward through into right? Yeah, I probably do. Right, so, now how are we doing for resources? I mean, I've stored logs 146. Still far too much iron. Which is always... Look, I mean, look at this. We don't need this much iron. Come on, people. God. So it is... Are we... we fast forward? Yeah. Just making sure. I only did that like two seconds ago. What do I need to check? What is wrong with me? Oh, look at all those fish. I was looking at the fish. Rude. Oh, the reserve of firewood's low? Well, that's not good. <coughs> that is not good at all. Okay. So we have a log limit of 200. No, stop. I want a log limit of 1,000. Yes. That's more like it. Uh, also, yeah, they are cutting. Oh, maybe that's why they weren't cutting them down before. Because we already had a hundred logs. Perhaps that was the reason. I guess we'll never know. Now... Ah, oh god, my throat's all... Ickety-pickety. So it's early spring, let's slow down so we don't just blast through. I want to make the most of our time. Oh, I love this town. It's such a nice town. I'd love to live here. I might apply for citizenship. What do you reckon? I reckon that's a great idea. 
I think I would have much success applying for citizenship to a town that does not exist. Oh, that tree's in the way. Is that tree still over here? Yeah. What's up, tree? They're still there. Keep on keeping on, man. Love you, bro. Sweet. So, how are the trees doing over here in terms of planting? Quite well, actually. Quite well. Quite well. Ha! Oh, that's my word of the day. Quite well. Roddy ho. Should I place some more houses over here? Can I fit some more houses here? I can only fit them here. And might as well then. Just because. Keep the population growing. Make sure we have lots of people. Lots and lots of people. Now we need pepper over here. And we want work. We'll assign one, two, three farmers to this. Like so! Alright, it's late spring. I have waited a little longer than I would have liked. It's my fault though, I was not paying attention. My bad. Oh well. Roddy ho! It has 0% yield. Great start, great start. Anyway, in the meantime, how we, why are you all cold? It's 30 degrees outside. That's hot in England. I don't know how you could possibly be cold. Beautiful weather. Uh, did the houses get built over here? Ooh, they did. Nice. Very nice. Uh, now food. We have tons of it. Uh, how's our storage doing? That's barely full. That's not full. That's not full. Uh, I don't think we need another storage barn yet. What I may do next is start to expand into some farms over here. Maybe worthwhile. Let's grab a road, drag it over there. I'll probably put it like uh, in here somewhere like that. That'd be sweet. Uh, don't build this road at the end. Thank you. Good man. Good man. I thought he was just going to build it then. Oh, you left one. Don't leave one. No, <laughs> please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, person whose name I do not know. Much appreciated. I would have liked to have this as a double road. Or a double street. It was a bit cramped. Apparently there's probably a lot of congestion. And one thing I do wish I'd have done is put that a bit further back. But hey, it's alright. So I'm thinking of actually placing a trade dock, whatever they call it. What do they call it? Trading post, there you go. I don't really know where I could place it though. Like here? Yeah, I can place it there. Hey, hey, check it out! That. There. Nope, not there. No, it doesn't really. There's nowhere I can place it. This river's not big enough! There's a lake over here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, right there. Um. Right over here. I'm not gonna place it now. Uh, may do. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, first, though... Oh, God, look at all these trees. Let's cut all of them down. Get rid of you. Thank you. There we go. So it is summertime. Do you have a yield on this one yet? No. What the hell? What's going on? Why don't we have any yield on that? WTF. Okay, maybe it'll happen next time. I don't know. I do not know what is happening there. Do not know at all. Hopefully we should be good from forward from now on. As we have these guys providing us with plenty of trees. It's a matter of continuously cutting it down and we have two more people that have become laborers. And a child named Dal was born. Dal, 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 I don't know that name. Why not you just have a normal name? I apologize if your name is Dal. It's kind of insensitive. But that's alright. Toughen up. Harden up, sissy pants. Uh, now, a mine may actually be useful. Because, while it does take a lot to build, 
means that we won't have to use as much wood for a long run. You know what? I think I may place a mine. I think it would benefit us in the long run. That's what I am thinking. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it! We're gonna get four builders. Let's assign one extra builder so we can get that thing up and running as quickly as possible. Now one thing I do need to watch is that you need a lot of builders to make this, I mean a lot of miners, to make it worthwhile. Uh, we do have a fair few labourers there though, so that'll be fine. Hopefully. We'll see, I suppose. How many graves do we have over there? We have three of twenty-four. Excellent! Sort of. Well, I prefer to have none. Um, not going to place any houses, we don't need them right now. We don't need them at all. Why place things that we don't need? Look at this little stream. Isn't it cute? Look at this. This game is really pretty. I think I've said that multiple times before. But it really is. I have to remove 18 trees. Or 18 resource parts, whatever. Uh, did we end up getting a yield on this? We did get some sort of yield. Not very much. Um, what's our limit for food? 10,000. Oh god, we're almost going to max it out. Time to crank it up a bit more! Let's take her up to... 14,000 food. I think these bar these barns are going to get full, aren't they? Yeah, they're definitely going to keep getting full. <laughs> That's not something that I ever thought would happen. Okay... Blossy the Gatherer. Oh, Blossy! No! No! Blossy! Oh, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Do you guys remember Blossy? I remember Blossy. She was a great lady. I'm sorry, Blo Rest in peace. We shall not forget you. That's sad. She got a grave, though. It's this one over here. Oh no. No, it's this one. This nice big tall one. Because I think these two were here before, yeah. That's Blossy's grave there. This will forever be named Blossy Cemetery. The final resting place. Forever. And then, well, that's too dramatic. I'm gonna shut up. Now, it may actually be worthwhile, judging on how full these barns are, to actually. Maybe. A store another storage but oh actually what we could do is place a market uh, wherever that is um, where the hell is the market this thing no there uh, used to provide a localized area for citizens to collect food tools and fuel that could be useful actually um, I don't know we'll see uh, but I think I think Noblitz is pretty secure. I'm going to fast forward a bit through the winter. Not that it really matters, because I think I'm going to wrap this part up as all the loved ones visit, well, their loved ones, in their final resting place. So Noblitz is pretty sweet. Look at the size of this town now. It is pretty cray. I hope people don't freeze to death. That would be unfortunate. It'd be very unfortunate. Actually, before I go, I'm going to place... One last woodcutter over this side. Just so we get firewood in this stockpile and not just the other stockpile. Um, in case people get too cold over here, they don't have to travel all the way across the bridge in the freezing cold to get all the way over here. It uh, might be a bit more convenient for them. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next video. And until then, stay safe, stay human, and stay awesome.